Sam has been awesome and helping got the scraper and getting all these tops off. It's taken forever. But she fully PPE'd up. Unlike me. Come back and Sam has made an absolute killing. So I don't think I've got much left now. Hey guys, follow my journey as I drag my beautiful old cat kicking and screaming into the 21st century. Uh, a lot of the jobs I'm doing, completely first time, I'm a complete novice, learning as I go, and hopefully some of you guys can learn from some of my mistakes. Some of it's worked really well, and some of it is absolute sheer craziness, but somehow I've still managed to put it off. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like to uh, follow my progress. I tell you what, it's looking a little bit better already. A little bit whiter, a little bit bearer. So I've scrubbed off the uh, top pads. I didn't do this one for some reason. But a bit <laughs> another evening problem. We get in there, start getting out all this old grey paint. And the lids, I've realised this one here, it's not until you doing, just start, start doing jobs like this, you, you realise uh, that lid's in bits, so it's going to need repairing. So I'll get all the lids up, fix them inside out. Um, this one, I know the other end was sort of rotten out and broken, so that's going to need addressing, so it's lost its lip. Uh, but yeah, inside here is some form of no, this is glass or sound deadening, but whatever it is, clean all this up, get this back to being nice, change the lips, get in here, ready to receive, get it all as good as she can be. I'm not sure how, exactly how I'm going to undo this because there's, there's about a million little nuts and bolts, but the hatches will all come off. I've got some scraps of ply and stuff in the, uh, in the garage in Bognor. So when I get to closer to that stage, I'll unbolt all these hatch covers and just have some bits of wood on top, maybe a brick or something, hold it in place. Just to stop the weather getting in there. I think this is going to be longer than anticipated. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be just changing that, that railing for the mainsail. Now I've got a trip in a couple of weeks just around to Chichester. So it's probably going to be a motoring and foresail and just leave the mainsail sort of secured off down there and not fly her. It's a bit of a shame because as I've realised the other week, um, the main driver on this boat is the mainsail I think, rather than the foresail. But it is what it is. I don't want to rush it. Well, I do want to rush it, but I don't want to cut any corners, make any mistakes. I want to get on with it, get it done as well as I can uh, in the time I've got. Things like the, the locker lids, if they take longer than the rest of it, then that's, that's not an issue, so I can bolt them on at a later stage. But getting in here, painted out, um, yeah. So, another good thing, last night, I sat watching Mads on Sail Life, uh, one of his, one of his few videos, like three years ago, when he painted Athena. Uh, yeah, he, he, he is the uh, he is the king of, of boat restoration. So I thought I'd see what he'd done. And he's used uh, PPG stuff. Um, I'm thinking about going down the same route. As everyone knows who's watching, I like to uh, to save pennies rather than buying you know some yacht paint that's eighty pound for half a litre. Um, I'd rather get you know five litres for eighty pound. Um, do it in polyurethane. So that's how I think I'm going to go at the minute. The only downside is, is I've got things I want to do in the cockpit that are going to take alterations that are going to be, you know, glassing, grinding, sanding. But I'm thinking if I just clean it, tidy it, paint it as it is now, then I'll see any future. Um, additions and changes then I'll just do it on top I'll have enough paint that you know if I've got to grind a bit of paint to do a bit of glass work then so be it 
So I think what I'll do is I'll just do what I can now with what I've got. Uh, get her looking bright and shiny and nicer. And then any future operations, we we'll deal with it as it comes. But, yeah. Anyway, right, I'm going to stop chatting rubbish um, and I'm going to go and have some dinner. I'll speak to you in a bit. Cheers, guys. Hey guys, not sure if I mentioned it on here before, but last week I was, I think it was COVID, but I kept getting negative LFTs. Um, I just felt like absolute death. I'm over it now, just sort of, sort of post viral. Just went out for a quick 5K. Hardest 5K I've ever done, ever, I think. So I'm gonna get up my, uh, get on my fizz game, start looking after my diet. Um, and part of my diet is gonna be, paint dust so <laughs> tomorrow hopefully Sam's gonna come down if not me I'm gonna buy a load of sanding materials and just go to town and start attacking this aiming for middle of next week end of next week getting some primer on it um, and into the weekend and beyond maybe some top coat it's gonna be a tall order a big ask but um, We'll see how it goes. So uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, so I'm at Park Run this morning. We've had a quick breakfast, and now we're getting on with a big grind. Hey guys, this is absolutely horrible. Sam's being awesome and helping. Got the scraper and getting all these tops off. It's taking forever. She fully PPE'd up. Unlike me. I'm very really defensive when I'm doing it. But, um, so I've got a couple of big sections come up. And then it's just loads of glue and bits and old residues and bottoms of old bits of paint and all sorts so we're sort of going around very very slowly getting up as much as I can um, I think once I've got it all up then it'll be a case of jet washing to get off what that will do because that'll be the easy way of doing it and beyond that it'll be a wire brush it's getting up what I can but as Sam just said to me it'll be so much more worth it when it's done how nice it will look compared to the multi-coloured horrendousness that it is at the minute. <laughs> oh, and uh, our friend's cat misjudged. Uh, it's old Cadillac 8. Misjudged coming in. Um, it was very, very close. And it was a little bit too far over on that bank that it caught. So that's now there now until the tide comes back in. We'll, we'll park her up. But, all good times. Right, I'm gonna make a cup of tea and uh, get back to scraping. That's what we'll do the next few days. Hey guys, so six hours of me and Sam, well, mainly Sam, I've been doodling around doing painting and bits and pieces, but Sam's got scraped all the tops off of here. It looks absolutely amazing. Can put, I'll try and do a before and after. If I've got the footage, I'll, I'll do it after this, but it looks so much better already without any extra sanding or getting fresh paint on it and all that good stuff. I've managed to get one of the floor pieces up and it was an absolute job, but that already looks better than that. So I'm gonna go take Sam home now. Still haven't lost any nails. Whoop. <laughs> I'm gonna take Sam home. She's gonna go and wash. I'm gonna have a wash here. And then we're gonna go and have a couple of beers tonight. To celebrate the scrubbing. Day off tomorrow. We're back on it on Monday. Speak to you in a bit. Hey guys, another glorious day in Little Hampton. Uh, me and Sam took Snow Goose out earlier for her first proper chest run. Uh, it's all right. I think there's a bit of slime on the prop. We lost a little bit of drive, so we need to jet wash that at some point when the tide's out. Um, and where I've now got more fuel going through than ever before, 
the sort of the overflow, the return on the injector, like it has been for ages, doesn't really go anywhere, it just sort of hangs off the side of the engine. Now there's diesel coming off it, there's that, I've got that much going up there. So I need to sort of function some sort of return to run the excess diesel back to the tank or back into the line or I'll see what the preferred option is on a GM10. Whether it goes back to the tank or back into the fuel line somewhere or yeah, a collector pot. But yeah, I'm going to do that because chances are in a couple of weeks time we've got a bit of cruise around to Chichester. Depending how we're getting on with out here and if I've got a main sail or not. And if Sam wakes up and not scraping, then uh, <laughs> then I'll, uh, we may take Snow Goose around there rather than Foxy Lady. But we shall see. We shall see. So I'll give you a quick update on, uh, on Snow Goose and uh, the joys of the GM10. So once I've got that injector return returning to something, should be pretty bang on. Um, we get to take a jet wash to her, give her a clean up, give her a bit of love <clears throat> and hopefully get the first weekend away on snow goose maybe start taking it in turns between boats but we'll see all right speak to you in a bit work is going well i've just been fixing other people's boats for them come back and sam has made an absolute killing so i don't have much lift now I'm going to go and do the last little bit on the gunnel out here. There's still some bits on there. So I'm going to go out now and scrape all that off. And then we're, then we're just, just sanding really. I'm going to get some fine water later. Uh, ready to come this week. Probably another good few days if a week or so of sanding, grinding before we, uh, we get there. But yeah, looking good. Looking good. Hey guys, so that's, uh, that's it for the weekend bank holiday weekend of scrubbing and scraping so the floor is a million times better i haven't jet washed it yet we've just finished scraping we're going out for dinner tonight so we're on a bit of a deadline which we've gone over but a jet wash will highlight any other little bits and pieces we've got to clean up um and then it's on to the sanding sanding back to the gel coat lots of primer lots of top coat and get her looking nice and shiny I've got a few repairs, as mentioned before, on the side bits here. A little bit of glass in. But from what I can see so far, that's about it. Um, yeah, happy with that. Yeah, that's the weekend. Uh, cheers for watching. Please hit like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Uh, it's in the links down below. Uh, have a good one. Cheers. <laughs>